Hey guys, I'm Deepankar back with another video and in this video, I'm gonna be doing the review of Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro. The phone is already popular and I saw long queues in front of Mi Home stores on the first sale. Redmi Note 7 Pro packs good specifications for its asking price. I have been using this phone for past few days and here is my in-depth Redmi Note 7 Pro review. But before I start, I request you to please subscribe our channel and tap on bell icon to enable notifications. Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 Pro features the same design as in Redmi Note 7 but there is one noticeable difference. It is the camera bump and the text below the camera setup. Xiaomi has used premium glass sandwich design that makes the phone really attractive. There is also Gorilla Glass 5 on both sides for protecting it from scratches. It has a plastic rim runs around the edges and the glass panel blends seamlessly with the rim. I have the space black variant but there are also two other attractive color options. The front side has a 6.3 inch display with a dot notch. The notification LED is located below the display. Volume rockers are on the right side along with power button. These buttons provide satisfactory tactile feedback. The left side has hybrid dual SIM tray. The top side has 3.5mm headphone jack and IR emitter while the base side has speaker and USB type C port. The back panel has vertical dual camera setup at top left side with LED flash just below it. The fingerprint sensor is also located on the top center area of the back panel. Back of the phone also attracts smudges and dust particles a lot and it becomes quite visible on the back panel. The phone is also a bit slippery so use a good case for protection. The phone comes with P2I nano coating and watertight seals for making it splash proof so the phone can handle liquid splashes but that does not make the phone water or dust resistant. Overall, build quality of the phone is good but glass build can easily get scratches so add a good case to avoid it. The phone features a 6.3 inches Full HD Plus LTPS in-cell display offering 19.5 is to 9 aspect ratio. The display is good and offers nice viewing angles along with good color reproduction. The display performs well even in outdoors if you are using it on the maximum brightness. You also have the option to adjust the color temperature and contrast if you like. There is also a reading mode and option to enable it automatically in the evening. The phone also comes with Widevine L1 certification so the phone should support HD streaming from streaming apps like Netflix and Prime Video. The phone runs on MIUI 10 based on Android Pie. The MIUI comes with heavy customization and offers some nice features including digital well-being, dual apps, second space, app lock and adaptive battery. MIUI also displays ads and recommended apps that can be rotating sometimes. Mostly MIUI offers smooth and lag-free experience but there were occasional frame drops that should not be a big issue. The phone packs 2GHz octa-core Snapdragon 675 processor. The phone comes in two variants, 4GB RAM with 64GB storage and 6GB RAM with 128GB storage. I tested the 4GB RAM model for this review. The phone remains quick and responsive most of the times. It even handles multiple apps in background without any lag. Overall performance of the phone is excellent. The RAM management of the phone is also good. The phone handles gaming well. I tested several games including PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 8. Games were fine but I felt heating after a gaming session of over half an hour. If I talk about the benchmark scores, the phone crossed 180,000 on Antutu and Geekbench single and multi-core scores were 2393 and 6462 respectively. The phone comes in 64GB or 128GB storage options, so you have enough storage to use. It has expandable storage, but you can either expand the storage or use dual SIM feature. The fingerprint sensor of the phone is fast and accurate. The same thing is with face unlock. Face unlock is fast and quickly unlocks the phone. The phone has IR emitter, so it can also be used as a universal remote control for your home appliances. The camera is most hyped part because of high megapixel count. The phone has dual camera setup where the primary camera is of 48 megapixels along with 5 megapixels secondary depth camera. The 48 megapixels camera uses Sony IMX586 sensor. 
By default, the camera shoots photo in 12 megapixels. The phone uses pixel binning to produce 12 megapixels images from 48 megapixel sensor. At the front, it has 13 megapixels front camera with option of screen flash. The phone can also record up to 4K videos. I have a dedicated camera review of Redmi Note 7 Pro where I added the photo samples and video samples. So you can watch that video to know more about the camera performance of Redmi Note 7 Pro. The phone definitely impresses with camera performance considering it to be a mid-range phone. The phone offers good clarity in sound during calls. The bottom firing speaker also works well but the output on headphones could have been better. The phone supports dual 4G voice over LTE. I did not face any problem with 4G performance or network stability. Unlike Redmi Note 6 Pro, the Note 7 Pro does not support Wi-Fi pass-through feature. The phone packs 4000 mAh battery that performs well. You can easily get a full day usage even if your usage is high. You can easily get the screen on time of more than 6 hours. The phone supports quick charge for fast charging but comes with 10 watt charger in the retail box. You will have to buy a quick charge 4 supported adapter separately. The phone takes 2 hours and 15 minutes in fully charging from 0 to 100%. To summarize the review, it has good design, good display, nice performance, good working cameras and solid battery backup. Ads on MIUI and hybrid slot are the few downsides. Redmi Note 7 Pro is the best option under Rs 20,000 in India right now. The phone has everything that you expect from a phone of this price segment. If you are considering this phone to buy, go for it. If you have anything to ask, you can leave it in the comments. That's it from my side. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment and share. Thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one.